Hi guys, it's Hillary. I'm here in my studio and we're gonna do a full, well, as much as we can in 55 minutes, because I have it at uh, 11 o'clock, a reformer work. So we're gonna be on the reformer. I have a little plan kind of for my body, so join me. It's gonna be fun. Um, I'm on a grot, so I'll kind of just say what my springs are and you just accordingly take care of you take care of your body, do what you can do. I'll do little building blocks as we go and you can just stay where you are or you can bring it up, whatever feels good for you. Stop, have water, whatever. But we're gonna start with some footwork. So I've got all four springs on, lying down. And we'll see how everything feels. It's Monday. So heels together, toes apart. And let's just kind of feel where we are on our mat here. Just take a couple of deep breaths, feel yourself kind of settle in. Don't judge, just see where we are. Looking straight up, take a deep inhale and exhale. Just kind of let everything settle. All right, we're ready. Take that foot, foot bar and just push it away. Inhaling as you press out, exhaling in and really feel like you're taking up the bar and you're just pushing it all the way across your room. Keep squeezing the heels together. And just kind of pay attention to what's happening in your body here. We're just starting. You can feel some tightness, maybe unevenness, one working more, maybe the shoulders. But just go with it, inhaling, controlling that spring all the way out, all the way in. And just breathing through. Let's do two more. Wasn't really counting. I'll make sure and count <laughs> one more. And bring it all the way in. And we're just going to take it legs together to the arches. Just kind of rounding over. And again, we're just pushing up the far away. Lengthening as best we can. Breathing. Good. And you're halfway there. Thinking about the arms nice and long on your mat. Three more, even on both feet. And then bring it all the way in and just slide up to your heels as high as you can. Flex them back and press that bar away. Keep breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Ooh, warming it all up here. We got four more here. And again, you're just trying to push that foot bar all the way across your room. Two more. And then bring it all the way back in and we'll go back to that V position. So heels together, toes apart. Really squeeze your heels together and we'll press out. And I want you to just lower and lift those heels where you can keep that connection. Like you're trying to pass them through each other. Nice little tendon stretch. And again, we're still pushing that foot bar away. Breathing the whole time. Do four more here. Keep squeezing them together. One more. And then bend and bring it all the way in. And let's take our foot bar away. I'm gonna change my watch so I don't call emergency services. And grab your Handles, loops, whatever you've got. And we're gonna just find our position for a moment. So I want you to hold on tightly. Make sure you're a little bit away from your shoulder rest there. And let's just curl the head and shoulders up and look towards our feet. Just let them float away and pudge into those arms and see, see how it feels today. And just breathe. See if you can just hold it here. We're getting ready for the 100, obviously. And then bring it back down. So based on that, wherever you wanna take your legs, we're going for it. Curl it up. Take those legs where you want, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, keep bumping, exhale, inhale, exhale, reach, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, halfway there, inhale, exhale, inhale, play with those legs, exhale, inhale, Exhale, we got three more. Inhale. Exhale, two more. Inhale. Exhale, 
one more, keep punching. Exhale, hold, and all the way down. Woo, I'm warm. I don't know about you. All right, we're gonna take two springs away and we're gonna take the headrest down. We're gonna go into our overhead. So again, just do what you can do here. Arms at your sides, or up in the air, I should say. We're gonna bring them down to the sides. So punch into those arms, reach the legs towards the sky. Let's just hang here for a moment. Really reach your arms, shoulders in your mat. And then let's reach those legs away as we reach the arms back up. We are ready, we're going into our rollover, into that jackknife. So pulling down, really punch into those arms as you roll over. Shack knife up, keep reaching those arms, looking straight up towards the sky. See that foot bar up there, just keep pushing. And then bringing it down, we're only gonna do three. Pull up and over. <laughs> Good, got a little wobbly there. And breathe. I can see I've got some tightness going on. I don't know what you're feeling for those that are on the reformer with me. And the last one. Bring it up, reach for the sky. Reach, 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 reach as we roll back down. Keep pushing into those arms, shoulders nice and wide. And then all the way down. Nice. So just kind of scooch back. I always move away from my shoulder rest and pull your knees and elbows bent. Our head rest is still down and we're just gonna do the traditional version here. So no lifting of the head or the shoulders for our coordination. Think back to your 100. Reach the arms, reach the legs as low as you can. Open close, pull those knees back in, and then bend the elbows. So reach arms and legs. Open close, pull it in. Ooh, it's our double leg stretch, right? Inhale, open close. Keep punching, punching into those arms. Reach for that foot bar. Feel the back of the head just nice and heavy, not letting anything change. And how low can you take those legs? without letting anything change. Oh my goodness. One more here. Reach, open, close, and in, and in. Nice. Let's hang our loops, handle whatever you have. Bring yourself up. And we're gonna change to one spring or whatever you use for your rowing. We're gonna do from the chest, from the hips. So I want you to just sit back at your shoulder rest. Arms at your sides, up at the chest here. And let's just go ahead and just find your center. So see if you can sit as tall as you possibly can and reach your legs like you're trying to touch the wall over there. And let's try to keep this as we punch out, pull down, keep growing tall, 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 up towards the sky, and then circle reaching as we come around. Inhale, just find a pace that works for you. Try to think that the head and the shoulders, if you had a chair behind you, they're staying there. You can feel the shoulder rests behind your waist. So you know where that is. Inhaling and exhaling. Reaching and really trying to drag those arms down and up the wall. Do one more here. Feels awesome. And then bring it back to your hips. And we're just gonna find our spine stretch for the day. Nose to knees, find your spine stretch, enjoy. And then I want you to punch towards your feet, grow deeper into that spine stretch. And I'll keep reaching, reaching, reaching as you lengthen up, 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 up. Circling back. And again, spine stretch forward. Find it, punch, go deeper into it, reaching. And around, nice. Spine stretch again, nose to the knees. Really punch, dig in. Here's your horseback, right? which hint we're heading towards. One more into that spine stretch. Punch forward and reach and around. All right, just go ahead, cross your feet, cross your legs. We'll go into our hug a treat. So again, we're gonna sit tall, really tall. And I can tell I feel a little uneven. It feels like this one's shorter, but I know it's not. All right, <laughs> so hug your tree. We all have those days, right? And open. Really use your legs. Punch into them and think same effort when you open as when you close. And really feel for those that work with me and know how I 
love the Kathy Grant work. All your containers are stacked. You've got those ribcage arms working. Breathing, staying super tall. One more hug a tree. And then we'll go right into shape the head. So just taking the hands behind and think you're still lengthened, but we're just gonna hinge at the hip a little, pressing away. And really think as we bend back behind that you're lengthening even more. And I'm just giving you cues that I'm telling to myself in my brain. So take what you can, but just keep moving if you're doing it. Inhale, exhale. Whew. I can feel the weekend. One more here. Reach. Good. And then go ahead, bring it back down. And we're going to do what's called lifting. So what I want you to think about is staying tall, really pressing into those legs. And I want you to think that you're taking your arms straight up. Like if you were in the gym and you were doing like a, a shoulder or shoulder press, is that right? And you're only going where we can keep that carriage still and bring it back down. And then do that again, reach. So the higher you get, the more you have to lengthen, 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 and back down. Mm -hmm. And one more. Reach, so I could go like that, it'd be super easy. But we wanna go straight up, straight up towards the sky, straight up, straight up, straight up. Oh, staying tall and rest. Now go ahead, hang your handles. We're gonna grab our box. So we're gonna do our pulling straps and our T pull. So grab your box if you have one, and we'll just place it long ways. Make sure it's even. And you got one spring on or whatever you use for your pulling straps. And just grab up. Make sure you're straight on your box and then arms at your side. So first, let's just take those legs instead of letting them just be there. Press your hips into the mat and really press them in. Reach those legs, lots of energy. Arms reaching for the floor, head for that wall in front of you. Pull your straps all the way back. And then punch in, let the head come up, let the chest come up, reach wherever you can go, and then bringing it down, but lengthening, keep those legs active, don't let them go. And again, pull your straps, head, chest, see where you can go, keep punching those arms, keep punching, punching, and then all the way back, breathe. I'm reminding myself, and pull, keep punching, keep punching, keep punching, going where you can go, all the way back down, and we'll go right into our T-pull. So I like to choke down a little bit. Take your arms in that capital T, and then just find where, where you can hold it, and pull your straps towards your hips. And then reach, reach, try to stay lifted, stay lifted, stay lifted, and pull. And reach, looking up, 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 keep pulling one more. Keep reaching those arms, reach, 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 reach. And then all the way in. Nice. All right, I don't know about you, but I'm getting warmed up. We're going to add a spring and we're going into a backstroke. So go ahead, make sure you feel confident on your box that you're not gonna come flying off it. Grab your straps. I used to have a lovely client. He could grab them when he was down here. Very impressive. All right. Everything's good here. Curl up, hands in front, curl in as tight as you can. Think your ball on your mat. Arms and legs up and circle. Think of teaser, because we're going there. And bend it back in, inhale. One more in this direction. Good, now reverse, press. Now try to stay curled up, curled up, curled up. And again, press, try to stay curled if you can. Keep looking right ahead of you, even if it disappears. And rest. Awesome. Come up. Take one spring away. However you want to get up. We're going into teaser. We're just going to do three basic teasers, no fancy stuff. Find your position where you know you're safe on your box. Oh, this should feel good. All right, the minute you feel that spring, head comes. Bringing it up. Reach the legs, reach your arms, find your teaser today. Reach for those legs. Woo! Now, lift your arms a bit. Feel 
the spring. Let it guide you back down. Keep reaching those legs away all the way back down. And do that again. Head, chest, punch into the arms. Reach the legs. Reach those legs. Those are my nemesis there. And then all the way. Feel it. Feel it. Let the spring guide you back down. Whew. One more. I know you got it in you. Curl up. Reach the legs. Look towards those feet. Punch into those arms. And then we'll go all the way back down with control. Your pace though, going where you want to go today. And we'll take this and bring it around. So now we're going into, as promised, horseback. So find your position. And I, I'm keeping the one spring on. And I want to feel like I'm sitting on my mat, get ready to do my spine stretch or open like rocker, right? Well, your legs will be up in there. So here we go. Punch into those arms again. Think of your teaser you just did. Reach the legs, reach your arms, punch into it. And then circle, bringing it back around. Find ooh, a rhythm that works for you today. Punch into it, reach, reach, reach. One more here. And all the way around. I love that one, even though it's super hard. All right, let's take our box away. We'll go into some of the long stretch stuff. So let's grab head rest up, a little grippy for safety, foot bar up. And I'm kind of skipping around some exercises, just kind of getting us going. It's not that full reformer because that would take forever. So just find your position, wherever that is for you. Press out of those arms heels together then we're going to push with the arms and the legs only go where you can maintain that shape and then pull back in think of your pulling straps you just did press out curl pull good think of your feet even as you come in your legs are still pushing 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 that carriage away so it's the arms and legs right giving us some room here three more Try to keep your body just like a dart. Arms long. My left arm is like, I really don't want to work today. So I gotta make it. And then carefully bring it down to your knees. Place your feet as much as possible against your shoulder rest. That just depends on your flexibility there. And kind of think of what we did on the box earlier and pull your chest through your arms. Let the hips extend. Like we're on that box, just extending. Feel like you're lifting up, 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 up. But I want you to like crank it down. Just get into some nice hip extension here. Lift up out of those arms, looking where you're going. Feel your feet, feel your arms. And then push with the arms and the legs and pull, pull, pull. Each time, feel like you're trying to lift up out of those arms and pull your chest even more through your arms. Breathing, nice. And just keep thinking about the feet. Even as you come back in, they're still pushing. Inhaling. And exhale. Let's do one more here. Breathe. Now try to lift up, up, up. Hips extend. And rest. All right, we're going to keep this spring up onto our feet for upstretch. So I'm going to grab, so please forgive my reverse because it's going to be a challenge. But... Find your full rounded leg. We're going to do our elephant, which we will. Let the head really hang. We're going to keep this. Push with the arms and the legs to take the hips down. And we're going to pull that shape all the way in and back up. We're going to do three in this direction. Keeping the upper part of our elephant where we're going. Right? Holy cow, I think that was three. Forgive me if it was only two. Bring it down. Here's the hard part. Push and pull back in. And then keeping that carriage still as I go down, extend those hips, just like we did for our down stretch. One more, push, and drop your heels for elephant. Okay, one of my most awesome favorite ones here. Find your full elephant, round into it, and try to think 50-50, you got 50% in your feet, 50 in your arms, let the head really go between those arms. 
I'm so crooked today, it's cracking me up. So press up and pull back in. Inhale. And I'm really trying to feel like I'm doing a nice handstand the whole time, pushing my heels, pulling it all the way in. Gotta love this one. Two more here. Keep breathing, one more. And rest. Whew. All right. So we're gonna keep the two springs. I'm gonna go ahead and move them for where we're heading for me. And we're gonna go into a long back stretch. So you're just gonna sit on your foot bar. And if you're super short or have problems, you can put a block or something there. You can't reach, because the minute we're there, we're working, right? Hands, we're pushing in this direction. So try to see if you can wrap your thumbs and your fingers on the same side. And let's take as much of our foot as possible. And we're kind of hanging. Now we're gonna do the traditional, so there's not gonna be any bend of our elbows, so see if you can do that. We're gonna dip down, extend up. Woo. Two more this way. Down and up. Now try to keep the hips extended. Lower, think nice chest expansion, back up. It's our semicircle, which we're not doing by the way. Inhale, I think that was three and sit back down. All right, we're gonna keep the springs at two. Um, I'm doing stomach massage, and I'm gonna do it on the two springs, which is more traditional, but do it, do what you want in terms of what works for you, and sit as close to the edge as you possibly can. Let's hope I have the right pants on for this today. Hands under your carriage, and just push out to place your feet in your position. And then I want you to kind of bend into it. Look over like you're looking towards your spring. So find your rounded and you're gonna bend in as much as possible without changing that shape and push it away. So we're back to our footwork. Push that foot bar away. Keep thinking you're trying to lift that carriage up. Look towards that spring. Try to keep as rounded that ball for a mat as you possibly can. Keep squeezing those heels together. Good. I'm gonna skip the one leg today, or maybe I won't. My knee's a little iffy, let's see. Okay, we're good. One leg under, and bend, and push. Try to keep even as you can. One more. That's your one leg stretch from that, yeah? Isn't that funny? I love it. Good, you just got your arms for a little rudder action if you need it. And then let's go ahead, and I'm sitting pretty far up, so I'm just gonna Tend to my hands behind, but if you want to grab and I'm sliding, I told you that would happen. Staying lifted. I may wedge myself in a minute. Keep breathing. And I am, because my pants are not happy here. So I'm gonna just wedge myself. I'm on a grot, so it's pretty padded. So that helps, so now I'll be fine. So you went from reach up. So stay lifted, stay lifted. I moved myself closer, so now, my range is shorter, but you're trying to just stay lifted. Try to think you're growing taller and taller each time you go out. And let's add our little twist. So here's that spine twist from your mat, but now we've got this bar to feel that we gotta maybe push a little bit more into that leg we're twisting towards. One more here, and then bring it carefully in. Luckily the pants didn't fall down. We're good. We're going to keep this grippy and we're going to go into our tendon stretch. So I'm watching the time. Don't worry. So we're going to first do a little bit getting our position. So think back to the long back stretch we just did. Wrap your hands the same way and place your heels together and your feet on the carriage. And just kind of visualize that when you push the carriage out, It'll be kind of in the middle of your arch or, or towards the top of your arch so that you can really push your heels under because it's called tendon stretch. So that's going to be our focus. We're going to keep those heels under that carriage the whole time. So sitting tall in a chair, pressing into your foot bar again and just push out. And then lower those heels, keep them squeezing together. And then find that elephant shape again. And then from here, keep your heels under and only go into that spine stretch where you can keep pushing that carriage away and the heel's going under, 
under, under, and then push. Inhale, exhale, keep pushing, keep pushing. Ooh. Keep pushing, keep pushing those heels. Nice. I am dripping right now. Switch. Ooh. One more here. Good. Reach, reach, reach. I could go higher, but my heels would get lost. And then down and rest. All right. Let's go ahead. As some people would say, a little reward time with our short spine. So I'll keep it on that two springs. Head rest down. Do not forget that part. And I'm gonna grab here. All right. So just make sure you're in a nice position. Take those feet into your straps and pull heels down. So you're in your nice frog position. Oh, just this feels good. So just enjoy your little squat here. And then we're gonna press out of that high diagonal. Bring those legs together. Think about your arms here. Keeping the straps taut as we come up into like our jackknife. Bring the carriage all the way in. Bend those knees to your shoulder rest. And let's think of our ball on the mat. Keep your heels close and roll back down. And then press out. We're only doing three. Should feel this super yummy. Press into those arms. Push shoulders staying nice and wide. We're getting ready for our chest expansion. So here we are, rolling down. My back is super tight today, so this is just getting more and more mobility there. Thank goodness. Since every class today is virtual, I'll be sitting at this computer and rest. Let's go ahead and take them off a fun way. So just bring it back, lower, let them drop, and come on down. Okay, guys. I'm gonna keep it at two springs for our chest expansion. So grab your handles or strap, whatever you've got. And I want you to get back on your carriage to where you can really hook your feet at the edge. So I want it to feel like you're gonna catapult yourself into that well, but don't do it. So think about when we kneel, we tend to kind of be sitting back a bit. So we're back to that hip extension that we went through in our down stretch. So as best you can, hips forward, bring the shoulders width. So all of a sudden, pff, you're pulling here so you don't toss forward. You can feel your whole backside go, hello. We'll have our head turned. We'll go, I'm gonna go that way to the right first, but I'll say Wilshire for right. Press back, turn to Wilshire, which is your right, and then the opposite direction, and forward, staying with this hip extension. You're gonna alternate now. Press down and back. Don't let those arms get lost as you turn the head. We'll do one more each direction, pressing down and back. Turn, other way. Ooh, last one to the left. Press back. And rest. All right, add a spring. We're gonna go for three, but again, do what you do and just Come along for the ride. We're going to thigh stretch. So now our knees are up against. This is not gonna be hysterical for me today. I'm so tight, which is normal for those that work with me. So think about, we're gonna have a slight tilt at the lower and upper end. So maybe the head looking towards your box, towards the back or your baseboard, whatever it is. Feet are connected. Inhale as you hinge back. We've got the support of this spring. And then all the way back. Just kind of going where you feel, yeah, this is it. This is good, but I can get back up without, you know, flinging myself. And even if you visually don't see that you're going further and further each time, just maybe imagine that you are. Hold it for a moment, take a breath. Use that spring, kind of push into your tops of your feet there. If you're wearing your tennis shoes, which I love my Converse, you're pushing into those shoelaces. Two more here, just because <laughs> it feels so good. And one more. You feel like I'm going further and further each time. I don't know about you. Super tight and back. Nice. All right, so we are gonna change our spring. 
for side arms. So I'm on a grats. So my range may be a lot different than if you're not on one or you're stronger than me. So knees are hip width apart and we're facing straight ahead. And I want you to just hold that inside arm, palm facing you. I had a mentor tell me once, it's like you're shaving the side of your face. I can't remember who it was. I want to say it was my friend Kimberly, but I'm not sure. So from here, hands here, and we're pressing up. So again, it's really not about this arm. It's really about us keeping both sides even and lengthened because you want to kind of get lost. So this opposite knee really needs to push in so that we don't collapse on either side. And I'm trying to grow tall. And again, think of your chest expansion we just did. So the hips are kind of forward, meaning you're not kind of sitting back. And then we're gonna to switch to the opposite arm. And again, everything's staying nice and open. <laughs> we'll just see, ooh, that's pretty good. And back. So you're just pulling where you can. And again, I'm trying not to rotate staying centered, staying even as best as I can. This is my funky shoulder. And then free hand onto the shoulder rest and just kind of walk your knees out a bit, knees together. We're going to the side bend and push your hips as far forward as you can. Holy cow. And then you're just reaching this arm behind towards your risers or back and pull where you can. Now here's the yummy part. Stretch, stretch, stretch and really push into that outside knee just watch that you're looking towards your shoulder rest and that arm. Think of your side bend on the mat and kind of push out of that arm. One more here. And reach, 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 reach. Ha. Oh. And let's turn around. Sorry about the back view, but we got to do both sides. So this is my tighter side. This should be super fun. So pressing this arm in, so that'll kind of give me a clue. And we're pressing up. Oh, I'm back down. This side does not want to connect. So I'm just going to do what I need to do, really pressing into this knee, keeping everything straight ahead as best as you can. So challenge yourself. I mean, make it where you have to work it. Now just go where it's safe and nice. <laughs> make it happen. One more here. Oh, this side still wants to shorten. And then we'll switch. So again, I'm a little forward. Feels like I'm in a topple, but I'm not. Better shoulder on this side, but other struggles happening. This side of our body is so different. I love when my clients realize that without judging. It's just how it is. Life is not even. One more. That would be really boring anyway. So find your shoulder up and let's walk it out. So here's my tighter side. I don't know about you. You'll notice on you. And push. Whoa, this feels so awesome. And reach and push out. And then I'm going to pull what I can. Ooh, this side is rotated and tight. And I'm just doing what I can do. Inhale. Reach. Nice. Keep thinking of that side bend on your mat. Really push out of that arm and really push your hips forward. And that outside knee is just digging into that mat. And then rest, bring it back. Good job. All right. So we're going to turn around for our arm circles. So again, you're just going the range you can go in terms of staying tall and lifted like we did for hug a tree. Hips forward again, like our chest expansion. We've got our arm. I have one spring on, trust me and you're plunging forward. But as I do this, I'm really pushing into my feet so that I can keep everything stacked where it is. And it's just that range. We're just doing the one direction, by the way, where I can go. Pushing forward. And I think I've got one more and we push into those legs, reach, and all the way around. Nice. Okay, so of course you did all that. So that means we're absolutely up for snake. So let's add a spring. And sorry when I get to the other side and you're looking at my rear end, but that's gonna happen. All right, so we're gonna do it. One hand on the shoulder rest and just kind of make a fist 
right under your shoulder. Your foot that's closest to the foot bar is gonna be fully planted on it. And this is what I tell my students, because this is kind of scary for a lot of people, is keep an eye and watch this leg the entire time, because that's gonna A, get you back into your elephant and able to like be back there, but also keep you in the position you need to be and not going that way, because if you look that way, you're gonna go that way. So look towards that foot, press, woo, and there we are. So we're gonna push with this foot, arm that's on that shoulder rest, press out, go where you can go, and then head and pull it in. Woo, two more. Push with arms and legs, all the way, all the way back in. Tie at our side, and in, and step off. And we'll turn and do the whole thing on the other side. Okay, so here we go. Remember, we did the side arms, so we know each side's different, right? This is my scary side. All right, so pull. I don't know why. And then we'll go out. And pike back in. Elephant to elephant. Yeah. I feel like I don't trust this left arm, which we talked about earlier. I think that's my fear factor there. And bringing it down. No twist today. Thank goodness. Let's go ahead. How are we doing on time, people? Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's go for two springs. And I'm on a grot, so I'm gonna grab the extenders. If you don't need extenders, don't worry about it. Just grab your straps. We're gonna go into the long spine massage and then our frogs and circles. So set yourself up, make sure your headrest is down. And I'm quickly getting these on, so it may not be perfect. But don't wanna waste time. All right, so go ahead, lie down. Two springs, headrest down, just a reminder. Okay, make sure I'm even here. Don't whack my head with my handles because trust me, I do that quite a bit. All right, we're just gonna see how this goes. So think of it, your long spine massage is your rollover, your air plank, we're trying to plank down as best we can. We're gonna frog out. Good. And we're gonna bring it like our short spine, but but maybe don't go back as far. Like push your legs up into your jackknife, lengthen and out like your rollover, and now push into those straps and reach, 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 reach. Make those arms work. Make those arms work. Head stays down. Plank down as best you can. Legs together. And then up. Open. Push, push, push. Keep pushing into those arms. And up. One more that way. And then comes the even more challenging one, which is the reverse. So here we go. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Up and over, bring the legs together, and then push, push, reach, 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 reach. I can feel my legs shaking. And then up, together. Mm, push into those straps, push, 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 push. We got one more. Really think about your shoulders on the mat. That chest expansion we did earlier. Open, open, open. Ha, oh, bend in. Here comes our nice, lovely frogs. So just think about this. The hips are nice and heavy. We're going at that high diagonal. and just bending into a squat. So think as you push away, you're grounding the hips even more. Maybe see how it feels different than when we did our footwork. Maybe it feels more even on the hips. A little more connected. Try to make it an even glide in and out. And we'll do one more out and hold there. And we're gonna do just small little circles here. Just kind of quick, small little circles inside the frame of your reformer. Really connecting the heels together. And thank you for joining me this week with my little birthday workouts. I figured it would be fun. And then reach, keeping both hips heavy. I totally am not counting, but that's okay. Bend in. Let's just take them off the easy way. And you can just drop them down wherever you want. Yeah, all 
All right, so let's bring our foot bar up. And we're gonna go into just a nice side stretch. So go ahead and just take your legs. The top one will probably be connected. Don't worry about the bottom one. Your arm is connected to the foot bar. And we're just gonna try to go into a nice side stretch, keeping both sides evenly lengthened. So here's the side stretch here actually. So if you're tied here, maybe you get that stretch. Think of this arm as you push with that leg and this arm, think this arm is being reached up, 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 up. So you're trying to keep length on both sides and then we're gonna pull like we're pulling our straps to bring it all the way back in for that side stretch. And then push out with the arms and the leg, or should I say the arm, and up. My hair gets in my face. Inhale, reach, 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 and push with the leg. I always forget the legs. One more here. Good, and again, it's that left arm. Interesting, new discovery. Switch to the other side, or maybe just the left arm's like, oh, I don't wanna be here today. All right. So totally different side, see how it feels for you. You're gonna push, arm, leg, reach, and all the way back in. There's the side stretch. And I'm trying as best as I can to stay straight towards the street in front of me. It's actually a little cloudy today. And reach. I'm gonna do one more on this side. Reach. And Nice, how are we doing on time, guys? Doing good. Okay, so now we're gonna go into our tiger stretches, or knee stretches. I'm gonna keep it at two. I'm super tight, so I'll find my, phone, my form, my range, you find yours. Do what you can do. Make sure feet are connected. And we're right back to our elephant. Only difference is now we're kneeling instead of standing. So think, if you run your elephant, Head between your arms, round into it, pushing that foot bar away, curled under. You've got your feet connected. Really work those arms here and then push as far as you can and pull all the way back in. Trying to keep the elephant of your top. Inhale. So the bottom can change, but don't change that upper and pull all the way back in. Whew. One more here. And then think back to your down stretch, but just maybe a little bigger, right? Open up the chest, keep it there, and same, push, and pull back in. Beautiful. <laughs> One more. My legs are going, oh my God. Okay, so we're at knees off, knee stretch. The only one where the knees actually do stretch all the way out, right? So, for me, I need to be up higher. Go where you need to be. You can be knees close, you can be up high. It doesn't matter. As long as you keep that rounded shape, you got it going. So do what's comfortable for you and safe for you. Round into it, you're up, and pull in. Whew. All the way in, I'm trying. Arms working. Three, and two, and one, and down. All right. Let's go ahead, lie down. We're gonna go into running. I'm gonna leave it on two springs. You can have your headrest up, headrest down, whatever works for you. I'm just gonna keep it down. Hip width apart, press out. Oh. And now I just want you to lift and lower, find a pace that works for you. Breathe through, clankety clank clank. It's kind of just shaking those legs out, all that lovely stuff we did. And just find what works for you. Don't worry about anything else. Don't worry what's moving, what's happening. Just shake it out. So good. And then we'll bring it all the way in. And here we go. So we're going to try this today. I'm going to see where we go with our balance control side. We did all the side arms. We did the side stretch. We really worked it. So we're just going to see and hold it. That's all I want you to do. So it's two springs, hand in the center. The bottom leg or the one that's closest to the foot bar is gonna come in front of you and the other one's gonna come behind. We'll do it that way. 
and we're just gonna do like a side plank on our mat. So I want this leg to push away as this arm pushes away. Woo, find our balance. Oh, and push and see, and I can't today, move and come off. And then we'll go to the other side. Hand, foot, different side here. And push. Oh. And keep pushing, pushing. I've got two broad springs on, so I'm like wanting my legs to work. And they're like, yeah, whatever. All right. So let's go into and finish with a little side split. So I'll face you guys first. Since we did all that side work too, we'll see how everything is. So on your platform, wherever that is for you, I'm gonna go all the way out to my shoulder rest. So huh, I'm in a split already. And let's go ahead. I'm gonna just have the arms behind my head. I like to kind of cue of kind of pushing into the head, pulling up. I'm gonna push with both legs. Here's the work. Scissor, pull all the way back in. Press out and scissor all the way back in. So it's right back to the side arms where I'm trying to keep length on both sides. I'm trying to grow tall, working evenly through both legs. And scissoring. I had someone uh, who told me once, think like you're being sucked up a straw. I was like, ooh, that sounds nice. And breathe. Makes me think of a milkshake. Now, try to keep the carrot still and just kind of walk it in. Walk it in. It's the closest to dancing I'll get today. And then we'll go around to the other side. So same thing. Position yourself. Each, as you know, apparatus is different to where you go. So it'll be safe for you. Woo! See, I want to go this way. So here we go. We already have discovered things about ourselves today if you've been working out. So it's just kind of seeing where you are. What can you do to get a little more connected, more mobile, get your body kind of moving the way it needs to be. Of course, I'm getting mine moving and then I'm gonna sit at a computer screen the rest of the day. So that would be awesome. <sighs> I'm kidding, I love my clients so much. Two more here, one more. And I'm gonna bring it all the way back in, trying to be still. And then let's just have you sit and breathe. So just kind of take your shoulders, roll them back. Take some deep breaths and just kind of see how things feel. Reverse the direction. My tighter side feels a little more open, so that's nice. Definitely different than when I did hug a tree earlier. Oh, awesome. So it was a fast pace. It was work, but you did awesome. Bye, enjoy your day.